going to a liberal arts college, you're always taught that everything they teach you cannot be practical. And this program was the complete antithesis of that because it really took all of these liberal arts courses, which also fortuitously were kind of pre-med courses, and it put them together to try to help people um, fulfill their romantic interests. In so I, I have enormous respect for Fred Matsuo. He um, is somebody who brings enormous integrity to science and all of his efforts, but he's super smart. And I think he shows that you can succeed without, you know, um, succeed in a way that rises all votes professionally. I, um, I love what I do. Um, I love being a mentor. There is nothing that I value more than dad and, um, and a good husband. And uh, I think that um, uh, I think that they both bring self-esteem in my life. And often, when um, there are challenges in other arenas, in each arena, they have been fortunately out of phase. And I think they really helped me to bring a sense of perspective to both efforts because I always see the glasses 90% in both of them. I want there to be an organizational legacy, a mentoring legacy that we've created an institution that where doing good and doing well are not mutually exclusive. And if the BMRI uh, can sort of uh, become a place where people can feel like they can come and really feel part of a system that stands for important values of how we deal with each other and interact with each other and show that that's as much a prescription for success as trying to um, compete with each other. I think I would feel 